Hey, what's up guys? So I just want to show off my uh, solo production uh, right now. It's uh, currently noon time. It's probably uh, close to peak time here in uh, Arizona. So here we go. So we're at 12, 16 p.m. And my 2.5 kilowatt array is putting out about a little bit more than 2,000 watts. And as you can see, my auxiliary my AUX uh, is on which is my water heater it's a thousand watts going to the water heaters and the PV voltage inputs voltage is 63 volt uh, amperage is putting out 33 amps and let's see the battery voltage currently because I just switched to I have upgraded my system to 48 volt uh, battery remained the same uh, still four AGM batteries but I had um, reconfigured to be all in series to give me 48 volt nominals. So battery right now it's 51 volts. So, so not quite float, but uh, uh, almost float in voltage. And that's what I really want to see. I don't want. I don't like my system in absorption or or in a um, in float. In float meaning that you know you might have extra solar power that you're not uh, using. So I like my system to be in, you know, 51 to 53 volts is what I liked. Um, so let's go to the next page. So this is my, currently my battery is at 96%. Um, and then I am using out of the battery 0.2 amps, which is uh, 0.2 amps at uh, 48 volt is about 5 watts. So that's how much is coming out of my battery and my consumption consumption is currently at 40 amps uh, so I'm pretty much consuming all of my solar um, so that about 2063 watts so because 1000 watts go to the water heaters um, direct uh, directly DC to the water heater elements and the other um, 600 watts go into my window air conditioners and then the 200 watts go to the light in the kitchens and the refrigerators and then the last 150 watts is I'm in my movie room, as you can see. Um, so watching some Netflix stuff, and then uh, my that's to power my movie room, uh, my my surround system, and uh, the fan. So that's pretty much it. So I just saw my solar is hitting 2,000 watts mark. So I just want to do a quick recording and show you guys what it's doing and what kind of low I'm putting it on. So since this morning, uh, it has produced 5.7 kilowatts hours. Um, so that's pretty good. So it's been, you know, on um, since this morning. It probably started up at about 6.30, 7 o'clock. And then up until now, it's 5.7. And usually um, daily, I see about uh, 12 to 14 kilowatts, depend on how much low I can put on during the day. Because often, you know, 50 to 70 percent of the time it will go into float and it doesn't fully produce um, all of its available energy so so right now my let's see that's the capacity and that's how much I have been taken out and putting back into the batteries in the life of the system uh, not too important there's the live chart not important either uh, here's the temperature uh, this is quite important. So my battery is currently at 29.8 Celsius, and that's with the refrigerator cooling, um, the small refrigerator, not my house fridge, which is also on the solar system. But I have a small refrigerator. If you watch my last video to cool my battery bank, and I'll point you a link to that video. Um, and then the Midnight Solar, the classic. The FET is currently at 45, and the P, uh, PCB is at 46. Now, I, I'm also having a fan out there that's blowing air right across this, and I also have added a big heat sink um, on the back of it. Now, this was not usually at 45. Prior to this, prior to switching to a 48-volt battery, uh, when I was still running on a 24-volt battery, the temperature for the FETs and the PCB is extremely high. We're talking, uh, we're talking about 60 to 65 um, Celsius, which is, you know, very, very hot. And it's only going to get hotter as summer approach. Um, so I, I want to keep it under 50 if I could, you know, so the system would run more efficient and, and last longer. Um, 
So now switching, I, I saw a big difference. If you switch to a 48 volt battery bank, um, everything you know work less, uh, less harder than on the charge controller. So you you know I see about 10 degree drops, just switching to a 48 volt bank, and then I, I saw another 10 degree drops when when I had the big uh, the big uh, heat sink in the back, and then um, so let's see the other thing is my. Uh, uh, Whizbang Junior, which is the shunt, is currently at 32 degree because it's that's very low. I mean, that's barely nothing because I'm not using much out of the battery or putting it into the battery at all. Um, so here is the day log calendar, so we can see. So the last couple of days have been really low and I haven't been able to use much out of my solar because when I'm not home, I can only maximize my solar on the weekends when I'm really at home and try to plug things in and, and you know use the power. But when I'm not home during the weekdays, um, you know, 12, 11, 10 kilowatts is the max that it would use because as you can see every day it goes into float and does nothing. So that's why I like to be home and then use my system until I can figure out another way how to maximize my uses. Um, so that's pretty much it. So let's go back, see if we're still at 2000 watts. And this thing just freezes. Give it a second here, see what's going on. All right, so it's been on and off cloudy, so now it drops down to 17. So hopefully it will pick back up again. And so 18, there you go, 19. Probably a cloud just passed by. Um, anyway, so I had a plan in the uh, a plan um, ready um, to install a new inverter system um, to maximize my uh, my uh, my solar production. So hopefully I'll get that done and running um, if that actually runs smoothly and does what it's supposed to and I'll upload a new video. In the meantime, everybody enjoy the sun and then uh, enjoy your solar system. Uh, I know I surely am so good day. Thanks for watching.